You should know everything about female arousal. Describe arousal. The state of being awake and concentrated on particular stimuli is known as arousal. In this essay, we're focusing exclusively on sexual arousal, which is the state of being stimulated or turned on sexually. This entails a lot of physiological changes in the body for those who have a vagina. Do arousal and desire differ from one another? Although they sound similar, the terms arousal and desire are slightly different. Arousal refers to the physiological alterations in your body that take place while you are sexually stimulated, whereas desire often refers to the emotional desire to have sex. Arousal disorders, on the other hand, include desiring sex but finding it difficult to arouse your body, according to the Cleveland Clinic. Desire disorders are characterized by a lack of sexual desire or interest. It's crucial to understand the distinction between wanting sex and feeling physically stimulated. It's possible to be physically stimulated without necessarily intending to act on it. Someone may not necessarily desire or consent to have sex just because they exhibit indicators of sexual arousal. Consistently exercise enthusiastic consent, always inquire if you are unsure about your partner's interest. Arousal's place in the phases of the sexual response is unclear. Researchers have discovered four phases of sexual response, or the stages your body and mind go through before, during, and after sex, according to the United Kingdom's National Health Services NHS. The initial phase of the sexual response cycle is arousal. Excitement Several physiological changes occur during the arousal stage commonly referred to as the sexual excitement stage. Many of these processes get the body ready for vaginal sex. For instance, the lubricating fluids the glands generate cause your vagina to become moister. Your blood vessels widen as your clitoris and vulva enlarge. Also possible is an increase in touch sensitivity in your nipples. Plateau? Before an orgasm, there is a plateau stage. The changes you experienced during the excitement phase became stronger at this stage. You can find yourself breathing more quickly and unintentionally muttering or vocalizing. Your vagina may contract and secrete more lubricant. Orgasm It's common to think of the climax phase as the culmination of sex, but it doesn't have to be. It's entirely possible to enjoy your sexual encounters without experiencing orgasm. Muscular spasms particularly in the lower back and pelvic region, often accompany orgasms. Your vagina may constrict and become more lubricated at this point. It evokes feelings of happiness and pleasure. Resolution Your muscles will relax and your blood pressure will decrease after an orgasm. You could experience unusual sensitivity or even discomfort when you touch your clitoris. There may be a refractory phase during which you are unable to orgasm once again. Although some people have many orgasms, it's not required to do so to enjoy your sexual encounter. The most crucial thing is that you pay attention to your body and be at ease. How does arousal affect your body? Among the bodily reactions of excitement are Your rate, pulse, and blood pressure all quicken. Your blood vessels particularly those in your genitalia, enlarge. The vulva and vagina may become moist to lubricate the genitals. In your vulva, the labia, lips, and clitoris swell because of the increased blood flow. The uterine canal may enlarge. Your nipples may get erect, and your breasts may enlarge. How can arousal affect your mind? Even if you aren't having sex, you could find it difficult to focus on anything else. This is because sexual cues trigger specific brain modifications and sex-focused brain activity. We still don't fully understand the functioning of the brain, especially how it changes throughout sex. Is there a distinction between arousal in men and women? Naturally, your genitals will determine how physically responsive you are to arousal. However, there are certain commonalities in how arousal is felt by most people. Blood normally flows to your genitalia owing to the dilatation of the blood arteries, regardless of how they seem. The clitoris and labia can enlarge if you have a vagina. This blood flow generates an erection if you have a penis. 
your chest and cheeks may also blush because of this blood flow. The disparities between the minds of men and women are frequently discussed in the popular media, notably when it comes to sex. In contrast, there aren't many cognitive differences between men and women. In one 2012 study, participants watched pornographic movies while their brains were being viewed using free equipment. The free device enabled the researchers to see how arousal impacted the brain. It was discovered that while sexual stimuli had a greater effect on men's amygdala and thalamus, it typically had a similar impact on all individuals. It's important to note that intersex and transgender people are frequently excluded from this research. Do you have any suggestions for raising arousal? You can extend foreplay to heighten sexual arousal. This implies that you take the time to stimulate yourself before engaging in sexual activity or masturbation by experimenting with various erogenous zones, using various toys, or engaging in various types of sensual contact. For instance, using a sex toy, long-lasting kisses, or your nipples may all make you feel turned on. Attending sex therapy or couples counseling may be beneficial if you want to improve the communication and closeness between you and your spouse. How do over-the-counter and prescription medications for female arousal work? Flobanserin, Addy, a prescription drug used to treat female sexual interest slash arousal problems, received FDA approval for usage in 2015. This medicine, which is like Viagra, is taken every day. Research on Addy is inconsistent. Although it has been demonstrated to work for some, it is ineffective for others. There is substantial debate over the negative effects of this medicine, which include Dizziness, difficulty getting to sleep or staying asleep Fatigue, dry mouth, and nausea Lower than normal blood pressure Loss of awareness or fainting Alcohol and drugs shouldn't be mixed It may interact with a wide range of other drugs and supplements Even the juice of grapefruit might cause interaction Brimelanotide Vilest, a self-administered, injectable drug, was given FDA approval in 2019. It is used as necessary. The following are possible Vilest side effects. Severe nausea, vomiting, flushing, and headache responses at the injection sites. Speak to your doctor if you wish to try any of these drugs. Tell them about your medical history, including any supplements you take, and any medications you take. To investigate any weak points that could be preventing you from seeking sexual engagement, ask for a recommendation from a sex therapist. You may learn more about your sexual health from a sex therapist while also identifying any mental health or relationship issues that may be negatively affecting you. Follow their recommendations and refrain from taking any additional vitamins or medications, including over-the-counter OTC drugs, without first getting their clearance. What if there is no arousal? It might be challenging to deal with a desire for sex but the lack of apparent sexual enthusiasm. You can suffer from a condition of sexual dysfunction. Female sexual interest slash arousal problem is the common name for sexual disorders related to arousal. It's also okay if you have little to no sex drive. Many people consider themselves to be asexual, which implies they have little or no sexual inclinations. Like any sexual orientation, asexuality is an identity rather than an illness or condition. Every asexual person has a unique experience with asexuality, it is more of a spectrum than a singular experience. Arousal can happen to an asexual person or not, and while some asexual engages in sex, others do not. If you suspect you are asexual, you might find it useful to learn more about the condition and make connections with other asexual people. A fantastic place to start is the Asexual Visibility and Education Network. What is a condition of female arousal or sexual interest? Low sex drive is brought on by female sexual interest slash arousal problems, a sexual dysfunction. Previously, it was referred to as Hypoactive Sexual Drive Disorder HSDD. Signs You may encounter the following signs of female sexual interest slash arousal disorder. Minimal interest in masturbation and sex. 
little desire for dreams of sexuality. Difficulties getting pleasure from sex or having your genitals aroused. Diagnosis. For female sexual interest slash arousal disorders, there is no specialized test. A medical professional could inquire about your symptoms to make a diagnosis. Additionally, they could look for underlying causes. This may be due to emotional or physical factors, such as ailments or medications, such as a history of sexual abuse, a mental health condition that affects arousal, negative body image, or relational stressors. To determine the underlying reason, your doctor may run blood tests or do a pelvic exam. In other cases, female sexual interest slash arousal disorders have no obvious reason. Treatment Depending on the reason, female sexual interest slash arousal disorders will have different treatments. For instance, if a certain prescription is to blame, your doctor may recommend a lower dosage or a new drug entirely. Low estrogen levels may potentially be a contributing factor in female sexual interest slash arousal disorders. For those going through menopause or perimenopause, this is typical. Your doctor may advise hormone treatment in this situation. It would be preferable to contact a therapist who specializes in sexual health if the cause is emotional. They can support you in maintaining your mental well-being and dealing with any prior trauma. Arousal has a significant impact on mental health, and therapy such as cognitive behavioral therapy may be a very successful treatment for arousal disorders, claims a 2011 article on arousal disorders from a reputable source. You may also learn new ways of interacting, making plans for sex, and discovering sexual activities that suit you with the aid of a counselor who specializes in sex and relationships. You might also try the previously stated prescription drug phlebanserin. Addy. Though there are several negative effects, it's crucial to discuss this with your doctor because it may exacerbate some problems or interfere with your present prescriptions. You need to comprehend the dangers and advantages of taking medicine before considering it so that you can make an informed choice. Does arousal depend on any other factors? Other medical issues might exacerbate arousal disorder or have a detrimental impact on your libido. Hormone changes. The hormonal changes brought on by menopause, pregnancy, miscarriage, childbirth, and nursing can all have an impact on how aroused you feel. Your sexual urge and capacity to get aroused often come back over time in the cases of pregnancy, miscarriage, giving birth, and nursing. Speak to a physician or a therapist if the issue persists or is upsetting you. Your doctor could recommend estrogen treatment if menopause is making you experience little to no sex drive. Thyroid conditions. Thyroid conditions can influence your capacity to feel aroused since your thyroid gland affects your sex hormones. A 2013 research that examined 104 women with thyroid disorders, such as nodular goiters, Hashimoto's thyroiditis, hyperthyroidism, and hypothyroidism. They were contrasted with healthy female counterparts by the researchers. They discovered that women with thyroid disorders had 46.1% greater female sexual dysfunction than women without thyroid illness, 20.7%. 2015 research examined the connection between sexual dysfunction and depression. It was discovered that both depression and sexual dysfunction might be brought on by hypothyroidism and thyroid autoimmune disease. Your sexual function can be enhanced by controlling your thyroid illness by taking the prescribed medication and making lifestyle adjustments. Mental health conditions. Low libido, as well as problems with sexual arousal and desire, can be brought on by mood disorders like depression. A 2009 publication in the Journal of Clinical Psychiatry reported that roughly 40% of women who have sexual dysfunction also struggle with depression. In addition, the researchers calculated that 3.7% of women experience both sadness and issues with sexual desire. Trauma may lead to a variety of mental health issues, which can also lead to sexual dysfunction. PTSD and sexual dysfunction are related, according to a 2015 study that looked at both men and women, and PTSD therapies should consider the patient's sexual function. Diabetes Various types of female sexual dysfunction may be brought on by diabetes. 
According to a 2013 analysis of research, women with diabetes were more likely than those without to develop sexual dysfunction. The analysis did point out that there is still a lack of knowledge on how the two are related. Do I need to see a doctor? It's a good idea to speak with a doctor or therapist if you suspect you're having any kind of sexual dysfunction, especially if it's harming your relationships and well-being. Although sexual dysfunction can be annoying and challenging, it is curable.